Welcome to how to create and modify menu for a WordPress website. So I'm, I'm going to assume that you know how to log in. So I'm going to hover over appearance and menus. One other thing is if you don't or you don't have a menu created, well, then you're going to need to create one. There is a link, create new menu. Not that difficult. Once it pops up, then you need to give it a name. This one I'm just going to call it test because it is a test. Then I'm going to click the button, create menu, of course. Now, one thing we can do is we can start creating a menu right here, or we'll have to sign it. The other thing is, once you create more than one menu, you obviously are going to have primaries, like this one has primary, secondary, and a test. You can choose different ones and which ones to modify, and you just have to select, and I'll bring that one up. But in this case, we're just going to, eh, we'll add some pages. So the way this works is you can add pages. Most recent here, you view all, or you can search for the page. You can also just add links, and these are custom links. Like if you want to create a home, you can put home, and then whatever your domain is, hit the add menu. You can also add categories. So once you create a, write a post to a blog, that category will show up here and you can add that too as well. So let's just try with pages first. I'm just going to go with properties. Why not? I click the checkbox and I hit add to menu. Very nice. Now I've got one there. Hmm. Let's try link. Probably wouldn't actually do this, but for demonstration purposes, I'll do it. This is called a custom link. That's going to be the link text that shows up, link text that shows up in our menu, and of course, where it goes to. And voila! So now I've got two of them. Now I can add a category. Why not? Home by resources. For this, why not? So I got pages, categories for your posts, plus custom links. Okay, excellent. Now, that's not the only thing you can do. I can click on the page and I can modify the navigation label. I can call this property search. This won't change the name of the page or anything else, but it can, it's the way you can modify this. Okay, great. And you can do the same thing, no matter which one it is. To remove a link, let's say I decided, hey, I don't like that custom Google link. I want to remove it. Then you just click remove. It's gone. It's not that hard once you get into it. And whatever you do, you got to hit the save menu after you get done with all your changes. And it's a good idea as you go through this to save your changes periodically so you don't lose anything. And other things you can do with this is let's say if I want home buyer's resource to be a sub page of properties. Well, I can just kick it over to the right. Matter of fact, let's add a few more to here. I can even make market news a sub page of home buyer's resources. You can do three deep. If I want home buyer's resource to be above this one, I could do that. I can move this around by just clicking and dragging. And then whatever you do, Hit save menu at the top there. And once you're done, then you're done. Move on to the next one.